What do you do? I work for Solidarity Now in Athens. And I'm the lead for community engagement and entrepreneurship. Uh, I started working with the organization in 2016. Um, my focus was uh, uh, on develop in development a project around a neglected uh, neighborhood, a neighborhood project. What drove you into this field? I started uh, working in in the arts and culture, and later on in philanthropy. I seized this opportunity working in this neighborhood project that was uh, connecting me more with communities, uh, local communities, and uh, with initiatives that are happening bottom up. So my main interest was to change um, with people things that uh, we see that uh, um, not actually change, to be honest with you. Change, I think, is not the right word. It's to improve, to, um, to co-create uh, with, um, with people and communities that live in specific neighborhoods to create uh, new things. What is your greatest source of energy? My greatest source of energy are the people that can do things with very little means, that can, they can accomplish um, difficult, uh, difficult things, uh, sometimes without support, just because they believe that they can, they can do, um, they can bring change, they can bring positive change in their, in their life their own life and into in their in the lives of others i believe that people that have the privilege of having more tools and more more ingredients in their hands in order to change other people's lives into becoming better they should uh, they should get this inspiration from the less privileged what is the best advice you've received that our time is really really important and, um, and how we use this time that we have is really important not to be wasted into things and to, into um, moods and into feelings that, uh, you know, consume us. And they're not um, getting us anywhere. If it's not the same, what is the best advice you can give? I would say to a friend or to somebody that needs an advice that, um, you are uh, you are the leader of 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 how you want your life, uh, and whenever you make a decision, you should support it because it's your decision, uh, because it's something that you have decided to do, and if it coming if it's it is coming uh, from your inside, then it's the best thing. So that would be like and advice. <laughs> what would you like to achieve in this lifetime? I would like to, to help as many people as I can um, in as many ways I, I can help them. Uh, it's important for me to uh, see this positive influence and this positive in, in impact uh, towards other people. So that's the most important thing. What brings us together? A common cause. I believe in collective action. Um, I believe that people can get together and do wonderful things in good team. Uh, that's, that's something that uh, unites us, a common cause, a common belief that uh, um, we can change the world. What makes us human? I believe that one thing that I could consider that is making us human is empathy. 
is the fact that um, we have the ability to understand the other, to, um, to think how it would be if we were in somebody, somebody else's uh, place and uh, being able to, um, to forgive and, uh, and uh, be patient. Uh, that's, you know, empathy, I consider it something really, really important. What is the most courageous decision you've made? It was courageous, I believe, that, uh, that in the middle of uh, the economic crisis, I decided to leave a job that I had uh, for 15 years uh, uh, at a large foundation. And I decided to do new things and jump into the unknown. But it was uh, really courageous because I had a family and uh, it was something that uh, not many people do in, in general when they have a very super you know, job and they can... Because I was happy uh, in general, it was a wonderful job. But I needed this jump into unknown and to do something like more creative and more according to what I was seeing in myself, like progressing. So it was, I needed a lot of courage back then. <laughs> and I'm happy that I did it. What does home mean to you? Well, this is something um, that's been discussed also due to refugees, uh, the refugee crisis. And um, lately we see how we are efforting into finding homes for these um, populations in MOVE. Um, and, uh, and I consider home like a safe space where people can, uh, can live, uh, can be educated, uh, can be connected with others, uh, and they can create. And with what is happening in the world and all these wars, it's something that is like a, pr a priority, especially for children. Um, so that's a home, a safe place. Who are you? I am Elena. I am a mother to a wonderful eight years old uh, little girl. And um, I have uh, so much energy for, for life and um, so many things in mind that I want to create for, for my daughter and uh, for my family and for my friends. And so I'm a restless mind. <laughs> if I could say. <laughs>